beautiful welcome back to my channel I've got these soft curls for you on this reinstall if you ever had some issues reinstalling your glueless units I'm here to help you I'm giving you all my tips here so you can have the best reinstall possible I had this wig off yesterday it's back on today like it, I never took it off so if you guys want to see how I get my lace super melted on that second reinstall and even if you need to reinstall this bad boy a good four five more times i'm sure it'll still work out if you guys want to see how i reinstall my glueless units stay tuned and keep on watching and i'll tell you all that there is to know all i gotta say is Mwah! and you already know who it is <laughs> hi beautiful welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you guys how i reinstall my wigs i want to make it really quick because i think it's a really quick and easy thing to do glueless wigs are so efficient because you can literally take them off the night before and then put them back on the next day and it'll be like nothing happened so let me show you guys how i do that let's get on into it it did come with these highlights in it and i did throw a couple curls in it but i'll show you guys how i got that if you guys want me to do a glued version of this where you do have glue on the inside you need to clean it and such i can do that as well let me know but since it is a glueless unit and you did just take it off let's just throw it back on this unit is from hermosa hair the great part about putting on wigs that you already put on is that your ear tabs are already cut out and you kind of already know where you need to go so i'm just putting it on for this kind of visual like this is where the spray needs to stop so this looks pretty good to me let's move it back and i'm going to be using this black even spray i had a video that was supposed to come out before i went on vacation but um they told me they wanted me to wait on uploading it. So I have a full review of this coming, but in the meantime, I'll give you guys my current thoughts. Um, this is my second time using this. Third now, probably. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna just spray down two layers and then tack it on. Um, as you can see, the wig is fitting pretty good to the head. So it's easy for me to just wanna spray two layers and just make sure that's all melted. But I'll show you guys my tips for making sure that the lace is fully melted like how it was the day before. And also that the hair, cause as you can see, it's looking a little crazy how we can tone that down. So two layers of the spray, blow drying it on a cool setting. And once those are tacky, I'm going to stick the lace right on it. I do have a wig cap on, but it's mainly just to keep my hair out the way. I'm not really a fan of like ball caps when they're kind of unnecessary when you're doing a glueless unit like this, you won't even be able to tell. That I don't have a wig cap on. In the meantime, I did record me installing this unit. I just never finished the video, so I came back to reinstall it. But this lace is extremely thin and very multiple. Let me blow dry this first layer down on a cool setting. Now that's dry, let's do layer two. That feels tacky, so before it gets too dry, let's get this right centered along. So we're gonna start with the center so that the middle part is in the middle. Once you get the front situated, it's very easy to get the sides down. So let's focus on the front, pressing that into the lace using our fingers. Don't be shy. I feel like now that I've gotten a little bit more seasoned with the units, I do believe using a finger is way more effective than using a comb. It just fully uses your heat from your hands to press it into the lace. I think it's a very useful tool. Now before this dries down anymore, let's move on to the sides. And now that the wig is fitting, it'll be easy enough to just pop that on down. And since it's tacky, it should stick. There's some lace that didn't get any spray action, but I would prefer that more than, you know, a whole bunch of spray that's just on the face. Not a fan of that. I do wanna say I didn't pluck this unit at all. All I did was bleach the knots and I threw it on. So this is exactly what it looked like out the box. Good thing about it not being fully dry is that if it's something's not lining up, you can pick it up and set it right back down so that there's no ripples or anything of the sort. And it should be tacky enough to where it should stick a little bit, but as you can see, there's a lot of lace, but don't worry, we're gonna get in there and get that. Picking up and replacing is okay, um, even if it dries down a little bit more than you would prefer, like this. All we gotta do is get your utensil of choice. You can use your fingers and put it all over the lace, but I think when you're more intentional with your product, you'll get a better result. So I'm gonna use this spatula on the end of my edge brush and go in exactly where the lace is lifted at and just stick that on down and just repeat that in the various areas. I'll zoom in for you guys so you can see. And then eventually that'll get tacky and you can just use your finger to press it on down. Let's repeat to this other side. And then eventually that'll get tacky and you can use your finger to press that on in. 
And yeah, we're gonna definitely still blow dry. We're not done at all by any means on the melting. Okay, so now that I've got the lifted parts, now it's time to go on top. And as you can see, I'm zooming in. I want you guys to see how, first of all, how plugs, how this pre plug is pretty natural and nice, first of all. And then, second of all, I want you guys to see how each step kind of aids the melting process. So now that all the hairs, I mean, all the lace is mostly like stuck to the hairline, it's not melted, but it is stuck. That's a step. I'm gonna again spray carefully along the edges, press that into the lace to really get that final melt. Let's blow dry this on a cool setting. Now I am using my fingers, but if it feels a little wet to the touch, don't keep touching it because then it'll turn white. Wait, blow dry it a little bit more, and then give it a slight touch to see if it's less sticky than before. And that's when you can um, press it in when it's a little bit less sticky to the touch. Now, once this is dry enough to where you're not feeling any tack when you're pressing on it with your hands, this is really melted, not melted enough. My current elastic band of choice is missing in action, so I'm just gonna use this sweat band. You can use whatever works for you, a satin band. Just make sure you use something to press this in for a good 10 minutes if you need to use this time to do your makeup if you need to use this time to i don't know take a shit this is your time this is your this is your moment fully utilize it but make sure you get those 10 minutes in because if you don't get those 10 minutes in you're not going to have a melted install let's get into this bird's nest these are my good old reliable bay head curling wand i think it's the inch inch all the way through not pointed um i wanted to just have some soft waves but these are big hair. So let's go ahead and brush this out. One of my favorite things to utilize in revamping my units are these silk drops right here. Definitely add some moisture, some slip. If your hair is feeling dry and brittle, this will bring back some life to it. Not too much is needed, but just enough to add some life back into the hair. I like to do it before I brush it out, before I brush it out and, and before I um, put any heat on it so that it's fully prepped for styling, you know? Now let's get to brushing out. Making sure that you're not trying to pull out all your hair. I am understanding you had a rough night, me, and you was out doing everything under the sun. Your hair is a mess. Um, definitely take your time and treat it as if you would treat your own hair. I'm going to add a little bit more layers to the front. I think I just kind of half-assed it. I'm going to be for real this time. Sometimes when you do your hair, you realize the next day that you definitely could have put a little more effort. So... I'll just assume that you're feeling the same way and you want to be like, yeah, I probably could have did those layers a little better. It's your time, it's your opportunity to fix up your layers. I'm just going in with a few pointed cuts to just make sure that when I have a little bang action, it just kind of sits up there, you know? So this hair is already curled, as you can see, but it just needs a little retouch. I'm going to curl this side off camera and I'll be back to curl this side to show you guys how I just very quickly very quickly let me lock in i'll see you guys on this side so as you can see the side of my head is curled i did this the very easy way i mean grab a section of hair wherever the hair came from curl it it took me about 20 minutes to curl this entire head which i think is realistic now i'm gonna let the curls cool and before i comb them out i'm just gonna sort out the top you know how i get i like the top to be flat and looking a certain way so i'm just gonna ensure that that's happening before i get to comb out the curls so yeah, I'm just gonna give this a couple minutes to cool down. I'm gonna spray some more hairspray. Let's take off this band in the meantime. Let's let's zoom in. Extremely melted. Extremely. And this isn't even touched up. This isn't even like. This is just lace melted, no pluck. I plucked nothing off this unit. While I let my curls sit, I'm just gonna use this and kind of. Push it back a little bit. I'm gonna get in here and just add a little bit of swoops using my edge booster and an edge brush, dipping into the product. And then I'm just gonna kinda use a swooping motion to just add some definition to the side. I think the wigs look a little bit better when you just kinda add a little bit of swoop, swoopy swoops. They a little hard, something like that. Just add a few of those around. It just adds a little bit of character to the unit, and I like the way it looks. Now that my front is kind of stylized the way I would like it to be stylized, very natural looking. Let's take off this band. I'm kind of scared to come out the curls, but let's get it. Got my good old white tooth comb. I'm just going to go in and comb it downwards. I really just want like some nice waves. I want this curl to do what it 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's about framing the face. And at this point, you should be very proud of yourself. Like, if nobody would know that you wore this wig the day before and took it off. I got one more final touch up I think will really be a nice touch for this. I'm just gonna use my comb and kind of use this as a guide to do this. Yeah. And this is the final look, I think. Um, I keep touching it, but I'm trying to stop. Oh, I didn't add any concealer in my part. Definitely just to refresh it up. Time for my final thoughts. I think me doing this little lift right here really changes the whole vibe. Final thoughts on this unit, very beautiful unit. Very beautiful unit. It's my second time wearing it. I'm really a fan. Little things about it that kind of throw me off these highlight wigs. It's just like, I'm a perfectionist. So this side is looking like this, right? And then this side looking like this, and it's just like, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not the same. If, if you don't care about that kind of thing, I see how these highlighted wigs are perfectly beginner friendly. And if anything, if you're seeing that there's more on this side and that side, you could definitely um, go ahead and highlight the other side. This is a very simple highlight, it seems like. When this came, it was a little orange, but I did wash it with some blue shampoo and it turned it down a little bit. I like the way this looks, about, but I also like the way this side looks, you know? They're just two different sides, though. That's my pros and cons about this unit, but other than that, the hair is beautiful and it holds a curl wonderfully. And if you're interested, all links will be down below. Again, shout out to Hermosa Hair for sponsoring today's video and sending me this unit. I can't wait to see how your reinstall this look. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye, beautiful.